tonight from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., a traditional rivalry of Big East fame. The Georgetown Hoyas playing host to the Red Storm of St. John's. UAB with a sweet 16 and Missouri to an elite eight. Nice pass inside to York seven. Make the double team run a bit further. And right there, a good catch avoids the double team with the dunk. Another look right here goes baseline poorly in conference game. Aaron missed three games with a poor. Oh, how about that move? A whirling dervish. Matt McClung to make it four to two. The problem for Mike Anderson, though, these guys have to score in order for him to apply pressure. They haven't really been able to do it. That last time it was kind of token. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about the push in transition. Identify Mac McClung right there. That's what you like to see. Didn't really look for a shot, but he gave it up with the extra pass to Jordan Mosley. He's going to come out. Yeah. But he's an outstanding passer. Well, you saw the bump and the nice screen. Allen using the window. In transition, Allen, terrific game, but their shooting woes don't allow them to convert. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Sky high to reject Dunn. Side Wahab again. Brought it down, though, and look at the red storm all over him. That three goes. Weave out top. Figueroa. They'll need more of that from downtown from LJ, the junior from Lawrence Mass. Mosley out to Allen. Oh, you know, he's got a sort of a dead ball shot. See what I'm talking about. Very little, if any, rotation on it. Sort of a dead ball. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a little bit of rotation. It's not a spinner. I'm done. That's Averaging all. about 11 points last three games. 44% from the field. Plenty of rotation and a beautiful one on that one for McClung. St. John's turning it over too often. And this continues to happen. Nothing but nylon. Playing a little bit better. Otherwise, this baby's going to be over at the break. Mosley with another three ball from way downtown, and he drops it through. That's the way we need to go. Well, they got a tie up. Sears with a double team. Three on one the other way, and he'll finish. Deferred to the trailer, done. He drives relentlessly to the 10 and is rejected. Playing together extremely well. He got a lane to the basket. Just thought Rutherford was all by himself. Good team defense. Done with a triple. He's not a go-to guy to just drain threes other than Figueroa, who just did. Burlington again, using that wide body of his, gets it done, and Ewing forced to call a timeout. By the Hoyas to answer an 11-0 spurt. They've cut that 29-point deficit down to 16, Lynn. But St. John's makes this run, gets a little more difficult. Oh, Figueroa! Hang tough. And LJ will need this payday and more. Another pilfer for Mosley. Out to pick it on the other end. Oh, this is the jam, but the follow by Yurt Seven, and he gains a foul from Figueroa. Blair from downtown. Over. Beautiful work inside with the extra pass. And connect. Numbers, Figueroa and Rutherford. Nice break. Such that St. John's made every... That's textbook, isn't it? Absolutely. Dunn goes crossover right to the rim again. Wow. Otherwise, dark cloud for St. John's. I think Mike Anderson has found you know, a unit of guys who are willing to play together, sacrifice, and play hard. Wow, what a steal by Figueroa. Took it right away from your seven. Watch this. The battle inside. Good block right there. Look where the ball is, though. Yep. And it was nonchalant. As you're talking about Mike Anderson, one thing needs to be understood. You don't have to be a coach that yells and screams yeah. to send a message. No doubt about it. Anyone will ever remember, Harold Jensen was out of sight in that game. Well, those were the halcyon days of the Big East. Oh, yeah. Blair, after the steal, it's the easy bucket. Well, the first conference win for Georgetown and their largest conference win in three years. And a game that, as you mentioned, St. John's is likely to want to just throw into the trash right away. <laughs> Saturday, number 11, Ohio State looks to get rolling in the Big Ten. In a tough road showdown against the rival Hoosiers. To the hole! Saturday at 11.30 Eastern on Fox.